What up, gang? I'm fight with another video. I say I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Let's get straight into it, man. Your boy Quinn Fox came out and had an interview and spoke on Mo3. And some people say he may say it too much. He said Mo3 had talent, but he said his ops had to get him out the way because he was in the way. Y'all get in the comments and let me know after y'all watch this video did Quinn Fox say too much? Man, she didn't got see. Hey, nigga, I fuck with a bunch of niggas. I got songs with Fred. I got songs with Yellow. I got something. I ain't hear no song with three. But nigga, his cousin nigga was over ball play in the entertainment. He was one of the CEOs, and I was with him with Gator Man. He doing sixty some years right now in the feds. Damn. Like so, I been knowing about him. Yeah. And he from McKinney, where Mo three really was from McKinney. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just saying, like, like I'm not being Bob just telling the truth, bro. So he's saying he got songs with Trap Boy Freddy, Yellow Beezy. He ain't got no song with Mo3, but Mo3 cousin was over the label that he was signed to. So he said he knew both sides. So he said he ain't really, you know, picking no sides when it comes to Trap Boy Freddy and Mo3. So like, nigga, if you had to say what Mo3 Mo, Mo influence was in Dallas, like, what was his presence like? When he was alive and what's his influence like on the city right now? I'm just saying right now, man, he just had talent, bro. He can sing and he can rap. That's talent. Right. A lot of these niggas can't do that. A lot of these rap niggas think they really can sing, but you really can't. You be flat. You get what I'm saying? But you think you can sing. Bro. And I ain't really speak on none of that, none of that, none of that, because it's really deep tied in the family and all type of shit. Like some shit that niggas wouldn't even know. But I'm just saying, like, nigga, he really could sing. So, who from Dallas that be rapping think they could sing, but they flat? According to Quentin Fox. Who from Dallas, gang? Now, when he said that, I instantly thought about Yellow Beezy. That's on me, man. I may be wrong, but Yellow Beezy be trying to hit him a little note there now and then, you know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know who y'all think Quinn Fox was talking about when he say Mo3 talented, Mo3 sang and rap. He say, but them other niggas, they be flat. Y'all give me comments and let me know who y'all think he talking about. Mo3. He, he can Mo3 can sing, bro. Ain't no way in here he can sing. He can sing, bro. Hey, so you really rock with bro music. I fuck with his talent, bro. Yeah, like even if I don't like him, over the shit he did, like nigga, I would nigga, I look at that nigga like I want tripping on none of that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, he really can sing and he really can rap. He was talented. It ain't bad none of that. He got talent, bro. Right. So he say, what I'm gonna get from that, he don't really fuck with Mo Three like that, but he fuck with the music. Mo Three could rap and sing. Mo Three did something evidently. That rub Quinn Fox the wrong way. He said, cause he ain't tripping on the shit he did, for real. But if he ain't like him or not, the nigga could sing and rap. Sometimes you gotta salute niggas like that because niggas that get on camera and don't like a nigga and just downplay a nigga like, man, that nigga was garbage. He couldn't do that. He couldn't do that. It take a real one to get a nigga props. But sometimes, and one thing that I realized lately, Niggas, even the ones that don't like a motherfucker, they got to give them they props because when they get on these cameras, that nigga was whack and the whole world know he was hard. You could instantly tell nigga was a hater. So salute to him. But hey, we at a point in time right now, even if you don't like a motherfucker and they the shit, you, you got to admit it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't bad. Well, I, I feel on the other side. It's just so bad that he All really right, didn't tell it. Okay, let me ask you this, bro. Being from Holly Hills and, you know what I'm saying, you was outside when Mo3 was rapping and the stuff he was rapping about. Like, did you, would you say, like, you seen the stuff he was rapping about actually 
falling in the streets? Like, did you, would you say you seen Man, that? Man, I seen this shit, but he was only going to go up against a whole bunch of other weak niggas. Because it couldn't have been me. So he iced them. The shit that Mo3 was rapping about, y'all know Mo3 was rapping about, he was sliding. He would put niggas up. He icing, is Mo3 really doing what he was saying in the raps? Did you see it with your eyes? Did you see body drop? Did you hear about Mo3 slide? He said, yeah. He said, but he was going against weak ass niggas. The only niggas we know Mo3 was going at publicly was Trap Boy Freddy and Yellow Beezy. So is he saying Trap Boy Freddy and Yellow Beezy was some weak ass niggas? You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the nigga hand they business how they hit the hand they business. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause they still out here moving. And where he at? You get what I'm saying? He said, but at the end of the day, the niggas that put him up, who killed him, or had something to do with it, they stood on business and they handled their business because they alive and more three days. So even though they was weak ass niggas, they still did what they had to do because Mo3 was in the way. Saying, like, that's one thing I gotta understand about that old clip and Holly Hill and shit. Like, nigga, it's cool and it's cute, but at the end of the day, nigga, we gonna have a lot of business. You in the way, we gotta get you out the way, bro. We don't give a fuck how talented you is. You get what I'm saying? Like, hey. you in my way, nigga, I'm moving, I'm, I'm stepping on you, bro. And it's just how I go. You in the way. And especially if you talking, he talking about putting niggas up. And, and, and I know them niggas tired of buying suits and shit like that, nigga. Nah, you got to go. You a problem, bro. Y'all know Mo3 was telling Trap Boy Fred and them niggas, y'all. I know y'all tired of buying suits. You know he put that in the sun. You feel me? Right out the trap where Freddy, two of his partners got, yeah, put up. I got a question for y'all. Is Quinn Fox saying too much without saying too much? Is Quinn Fox saying too much without saying too much? Mind y'all, he started the interview off saying, I got songs with Trap Boy Freddy. I got songs with Yellow Bees. I never did a song with Mo3, but his people was over the label I was with. So he basically said he ain't picking no sides. So he let it be known who this shit is about. At the beginning of the interview, it's Quinn Fox saying too much, gang. You get what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how talented you is. I say you talented. You sound just like the nigga that rap. You sound like Stony Crook, bro, by yourself. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You was a real North Dallas ass niggas. And then niggas on my side, really, we don't respect North Dallas niggas, bro. Why you say that? Because it's North Dallas. That's what we moved to when the athlete and made it. Other than that, nigga, we stand in the in, in the six days, bro. Like we don't know nothing about no skin or no RD and but, shit like that. We don't know nothing about none of that. So you you would say like So he basically saying nigga I ain't respect Mo3. Cause Mo3, goddamn it, was living in the neighborhood where niggas go after they done made it, after they done got a couple dollars. That's that crab in the barrel mentality though. Man, fuck them niggas that live in the good neighborhood because we over here in the slums. In reality, like niggas not really like niggas not looking at North Dallas like it's an actual hood. I mean, it's a hood now. Okay. Because you gotta understand when our parents and shit back when I was growing up. So what area are we talking about right now? Man, any area you talking about? If you move to North Dallas, nigga, that mean that you done came up. If you ain't in South Dallas, you ain't in East Dallas, you ain't in West Dallas, you ain't in South. You know what I'm saying? You ain't in none of that gutter shit, nigga, where you gotta. Have burglar balls on your doors and all this all type of shit. Yeah. Like, I, do niggas in North Dallas got burglar balls on their doors? I'm pretty sure some areas, yeah. But it's some a, it's, areas, it's a, it's a big North Dallas is really a big hood. Bro. I know it's big. It's is really big. big yeah, that's Oak Cliff. That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. And now you gonna start adding Frisco and all this all other rich ass shit to it. We talking about the real poverty of the hood, bro. Like, nigga, Oak Cliff, what route is it? Oak Cliff. 
Most William Chickens. Is it a William Chickens in North Dallas? Yes. How many? I, I don't know. Then we got like 10 in Oak Cliff. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just different, bro. We got Red Bird, my area, North Fork in the Galleria, bro. I mean, but, so, but Holly Hills and Oak Cliff, y'all kind of separate y'all self from Oak But what? That got to do with somebody living in a good neighborhood and somebody living in a bad neighborhood, bro. So you saying y'all don't respect them niggas because they living all right. They ain't got to really struggle too bad. Cliff is well, what? Holly Hills don't separate themselves from them because we just Holly Hills, bro. We our own shit. But we fuck with the Oak Cliff niggas. But at the end of the day, we just really want to get down to the nigga. We the niggas Holly Hills, nigga. Oh. Nah, we ain't gonna say it's our Oak Cliff. Cause we feel Holly Hills feel like we our own shit. Yeah. We go by our own rules and everything, bro. We move different, bro. Like, we fuck with the, everybody in the Oak Cliff and, and my niggas in the South and all of those type of shit. We got relationship. Would you say you the first, like, Dallas controversial say cheese interview? Of course. Well, who, who was more controversial than me on the, on the Say Cheese interview? I don't know. Nobody. Put it up. Let's look at facts. Numbers don't lie, bro. I mean, what? Uh, uh, who who Mo, said something before me? Mo3 and... Nigga, Cowboy I said something way before Mo3. I'm saying, I'm saying, but like those interviews was probably like, you know. But that was after me. I was talking about baby and them, bro. I me out of my shit. Nigga, that was way before Fred and anything. When me and Baby sat, sat in that car, nigga, and we were talking about how we were gonna work this shit, nigga, Mo3 was one of the other niggas that he mentioned. Like, like, oh yeah, yeah, he coming up too. Yeah. It was at that type of conversation. It wasn't like, yeah, Mo3 got the song with Boosie, and he doing this and doing all this whole type of shit. And I commend them niggas for the really nigga, man, for being me, me being a high to hear niggas. Man, that was a beautiful death, bro. Like, nigga, I don't, nigga, nigga. What do you mean that was a beautiful death? He say Mo3 death was a beautiful death. Huh? I hate that he gone, nigga, but that was a beautiful death, nigga. But, hey, you know what I mean? Wait, hold on, no. What you mean by that? What you saying? It's a beautiful death. Some niggas get saying. killed bullshitting somewhere else, nigga. You really got killed in the old clip, nigga, in front of the zoo. Like, nigga, nigga you got killed by the giraffe, nigga. That's beautiful. That's if you want to go any kind of way, nigga, if a nigga decide how they want to go, nigga, that's beautiful, bro. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, I'm from that era, bro. Nigga, that's a beautiful death, bro. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. get what I'm saying? Nigga, so I respect you, that. So you feel like Mo3 got his stripes when he passed? I ain't saying nothing about no stripes or no shit like that, but I know he was really active. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's a reason why he got D.I.D. Because he was too active. So somebody was scared. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only reason he get done like that. Somebody was scared. And somebody had the money to do what they had to do. He say, the reason Mo3 got done like that, somebody was scared because Mo3 was really out there sliding. So if somebody paid that bread to go ahead and do it broad daylight. Because we got to get them out the way. Hey, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification. It's free. Do it for me. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. Music 101 CEO. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I'll promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great.